All right, uh, the whole tone scale. The whole tone scale is an equal division of the octave scale. There are 12 notes in our chromatic scale. Uh, the 12 notes would, you know, would, would, would be, for instance, from E to another E, an octave higher. And the 12 notes would just, would just go through the, the scale chromatically, right? E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, D, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, right? And the way back down, we go E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, and E. Okay, so those are the 12 notes of the chromatic scale. If I were to play a chromatic scale, let's say from from uh, A here. You get the idea, right? It's just all, all the notes. If you were at a piano, you would be playing every single note, white key, black key, as they came along. Okay, and so a chromatic scale moves in semitones. Uh, so a semitone is the smallest distance in our music, right? Whereas a whole tone m moves in whole tones. And that's consecutive whole tones. So it's always a whole tone movement. And that's why we say that, that it's an equal division of the octave scale because, to, you know, simple math dictates simple arithmetic dictates that when we divide 2 into 12 notes of the scale, we end up with 6 notes, equal division of, of the octave. Equal division um, harmony, shall we say, uh, is, um, uh, is present not only in the whole tone scale, but also in the diminished scale, right? The, the diminished scale separates uh, uh, or the or the minor thirds uh, separate the octave into into four equal segments and then again it's sort of simple arithmetic but each of those sounds both diminished and whole tone or augmented right which is what you're going to end up with when you play when you play whole tones you're going to end up with augmented sounds um, they, they each function as dominant, uh, dominant sounds. So, you know, we're, we're sort of moving into new territory here, but let's, let's just do that. Fretboard, tone, 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 tone. This is a whole tone scale. And you can hear it's very, it's very lifted away from any resolution. You know, it just sort of wanders. That's why it 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 makes uh, it 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 makes uh, a a dominant type sound because dominant sounds want to resolve. And within that uh, that uh, that scale, I have the tritone. Right. The tritone divides uh, the uh, the octave in half, and so when you see that tritone crop up, you'll know that uh, that you you've got a you've got a dominant seventh type chord sound that wants to be resolved. Right, and there's a there's a strong similarity between. tone until I got to that was all whole tone until I got to the resolution okay so now let's do some more math um, a C whole tone scale will be these notes here right uh, C D E F sharp G sharp A sharp and and C uh, again, or we could call it a B sharp, but you don't know, forget it. Uh, so C, so it's all whole tones is the point there. If I go up one semitone, one semitone up 
from the uh, from the whole tone scale, I'm going to I'm going to have well a whole tone scale a semitone up, but I will have covered all twelve notes of the chromatic scale. So in other words, back to the uh, arithmetic, um, there are only two different whole tone scales. That's it. So by the time I get to the next whole tone scale, um, I'm going to be playing the same scale as I did with C, except I'll be playing D. And when I get to the next whole tone scale, I'll be playing from E flat in this whole tone scale. And then and, and so on it goes. So in other words, um, if I take this whole tone scale that's, that I played here, which I'm sure you can hear, and if I move that up a semitone, that's all you get. Um, by the time I move to the next, the next scale, it's just going to be the same as the first scale I played. Right? And and uh, these 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 scales are 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 are, are will we'll just repeat themselves everywhere on the fretboard. Now you can work that out, right? Uh, you you can you can take a, 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 a because all you're all you're doing. Remember, all you're doing is is working your way through whole tones, right? And there are more. There's more than one way to play a whole tone scale, but. Okay, now let's talk about whole tone clusters. Uh, a whole, a two whole tones together begin, you know, start to become um, a, a little cluster. Of them. And I'm just moving in whole tones. It's 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 really cool and it's really useful. Now, um, when I when I go to a three note cluster of a whole tone, uh, and I look at what I've got there, what I've got there is a G, a B, and a D sharp, which which amounts to to an augmented a G augmented. Right. If I want to change that and uh, I move the bottom note down a whole tone, all, all the movements are going to be whole tone, I end up with a G7 with an augmented. So these whole tone cluster chords end up being expressed by Whole tone scale is a um, an equal division of the octave scale, and out of that scale, uh, you can extract whole tone clusters. Those whole tone clusters will act as augmented chord sounds or dominant chord sounds that want to resolve back to their one chord. There are only two different whole tone scales just because of the nature of the of musical mathematics. Uh, so um, the rest of it's up to you. You know, see 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 how experiment with this a little bit. Think about it, ruminate on it. It's it's really uh, some some beautiful stuff. And and remember that the tritone. <laughs> is the same as the diminished fifth and uh, and that diminished fifth will be will be found in these whole tone uh, whole tone clusters all diminished fifths right 
Mm. Okay, good. That's it for whole tone scales for today. And I hope you got something out of that, uh, especially you improvisers out there. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Happy New Year.